From the Home Slice News Center, this is the Daily Slice for Monday, May 6th of 2024. I'm Amy Rose, and this is what's going on. A handful of South Dakota school districts are getting a big boost from federal funds. The Department of Education announced four districts will be beneficiaries of workforce education grants, combining for more than $840,000. Custer and Huron school districts are both absorbing $225,000 with plans to expand their current career and technical education spaces. Hot Springs will get $180,000 to buy heavy equipment simulators. And Rapid City is one of 16 communities in the country that is expected to receive a $100,000 grant to help underserved neighborhoods. Here's Gary Matthews with the details. The city received approval to take part in the Love Your Block Impact Volunteering Award Program, which funds community-based volunteer initiatives that work to fix issues in local neighborhoods. Jamie Kurz, the project manager for the Rapid City PD, hopes this will be a long-term solution to problems in the community. In national and international news, floodwaters have closed some Texas schools after days of heavy rains pummeled the Houston area and left hundreds of people in need of rescue. Authorities say a five-year-old boy died after riding in a car that was swept away in fast waters. Forecasters expect storms to begin tapering off in southeastern Texas on Monday. But high waters have closed some roads and left residents facing lengthy cleanups in neighborhoods where rising higher levels led to weekend evacuation orders. Houston is one of the most flood-prone metro areas in the country. Hurricane Harvey in 2017 dumped historic rainfall that flooded thousands of homes and resulted in more than 60,000 rescues. Graduation ceremonies unfolded at colleges and universities throughout the weekend amidst confrontations with pro-Palestinian demonstrations. At the University of Michigan, conflicting banners waved above and protesters were escorted out during the primary graduation ceremony on Saturday. Similarly, the University of Southern California, which had axed its main graduation event, saw police dispersing another protest gathering on Sunday. Meanwhile, at Princeton University, certain students initiated a hunger strike, vowing to abstain from all nourishment except water until the requests were addressed. Despite widespread student protests urging schools to completely divest from companies engaged in business with Israel, no institutions have yet consented to this demand. And Boeing's spaceflight program might hit a significant milestone today with the launch of its Starliner spacecraft carrying two NASA astronauts to orbit. The mission, known as the Crew Flight Test, could blast off as early as 8.34 p.m. Mountain Standard Time from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida. This marks a culmination of a decade-long endeavor for Boeing to create a spacecraft capable of transporting astronauts to and from the International Space Station as part of NASA's commercial crew program. Delays in development, issues during test flights, and other setbacks have prolonged Starliner's journey to the launch pad over the years. Live coverage of the event will be available on NASA's channel starting at 4.30 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. And your weather forecast from the Home Slice Weather Center, windy and warm today with highs around 72. Tonight, thunderstorms and rain with 51 for your low. That was your Daily Slice for Monday, May 6th of 2024. The Daily Slice is a production of Home Slice Media Group, hosted by Amy Rose and Gary Matthews, executive producer Mark Houston, engineered by Chris Jackwes. I'm Amy Rose. Have a great day.